today's recipe, you're going to need uh, some barbecue sauce. Go with your favorite if you want. I just suggest you get something that's uh, fructose free. I'm going with the Walden's Farms barbecue sauce. And I know some of you guys may be like, well, doesn't that brand taste nasty? Well, and I do agree. It does taste. It's not up to par. And it doesn't have the consistency of barbecue sauce. But I found a way to change that and change the taste and the consistency and that is add honey to it uh, I have approximately two and a half tablespoons left in here I'm just gonna put all that in there for the sake of the video I stopped a little early um, but I, I definitely just kept pouring every single little drop that I had in the bottle alright and you just stir that up and it completely transforms your nasty Walden's Farms barbecue sauce to, to something worth having and um now down to the nitty gritty, down to the recipe. We're going to need some chicken breast. Now, you can go ahead and use some um, regular chicken breast fresh or you could get some from a can like I have here. I'm going with the can because I'm using the chicken breast for something else for another recipe. Alright, you need some fat free mozzarella, whole um, uh, red bell pepper, the barbecue sauce of course, some pineapple chunks, make sure they're in pineapple juice not in syrup and over here I have these sandwich minis the real thin sandwich thins um, some of you may be familiar with them they're 100 calories each I have the whole wheat flax and fiber ones I also have the honey wheat ones and these are basically gonna be our crust as you see it over here on the this oven tray I have I already have four of them laid out I sprayed some cooking spray underneath of course and let's get down to the prep there's really nothing to it the pineapple chunks as you see I cut them I cut each chunk in half that way I can avoid everything getting too clumpy when I start to build the actual pizza the bell peppers I cut them to about an inch in length keeping them thin as thin as possible uh, just get your cheese on the side have everything ready the chicken breast of course if there was any large chunks I just pressed it down with a fork and broke it down like I said we don't want no clumpiness and it's time to build the pizzas there's really nothing to it get about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half and just pour it over each slice and then spread it with the spoon itself now this is a real fun recipe that you know you can make with your kids you can make with your loved ones for a game for you just having some company over and you want to wow them with some delicious healthy food yeah guys there's really nothing to it spread it out build your pizza I start off with the chicken spreading it out and then with the sauce try not to get it all the way to the edge but if you do don't worry about it it doesn't matter it's all going into the oven and it's all going into your stomach anyways all right and then we just start to put some bell peppers and some pineapples after we get the chick okay put as little or as much as you want it doesn't really matter okay this is an excellent combination of flavors uh it's like uh man i don't even know how to describe it they taste delicious i already had them i ate all of them of course um, for lunch and for a snack and after you finish off with the cheese after you put your cheese on there pat it down some and that's pretty much it i'm gonna make sure i build the other three this is what they look like i have the oven preheated to 350 degrees all right, and we are going to bake for 10 to 15 minutes. So around the 12, 13 minute mark, you should be good. This excess uh, barbecue sauce that I have here, I'm going to use it in a future recipe, probably today or tomorrow. Um, another installment of would you eat this? So, you know, keep a lookout for that. And we're going to pop this into the oven and let the oven cook the pizzas. And like I said, 13 minutes later, this is what these little tropical Walden Farms pizzas look like. They look delicious. I'll put them on a plate so you can get a better view. And yeah, guys, this is the final product. Give it a try. I guarantee you will love it. All right. Appreciate you guys watching. Y'all be good. Y'all hold it down.